Every dog has different nutritional needs at each stage of its life. As your dog transitions from an adult to senior dog, it will lose weight and muscle mass. You should be feeding it a suitable and nutritious senior dog diet that can help prolong its life and health. In fact, a 14-year landmark study found that dogs fed according to their ideal body condition lived 1.8 years longer than their overweight counterparts. When is a dog considered a senior? While there is no medically agreed upon definition of what is considered a senior dog, large breed dogs have a shorter life expectancy and are considered senior at around 5 or 6 human years old. Smaller breeds live longer and are in advanced years when they are around age 8 or 9 human years old. It is better to keep an eye out for signs or symptoms of age-related diseases although the said signs may not be obvious. If you are able to recognize when your pet is starting to feel signs of aging, it will be easier to navigate its final years. You should start by ensuring that you're feeding your senior dog the right food. What food should I feed my senior dogs? First is protein. This matter is widely misunderstood. Many people still believe that senior dogs should eat less protein. We now know the opposite is true. Healthy seniors need more protein, not less, in order to fuel muscle. Loss of muscle mass is a major problem in older dogs. Some seniors lose so much muscle they can no longer walk unassisted. Older dogs need about 50% more protein to maintain muscle mass compared to younger ones. But, diets formulated for adult maintenance diets often don't have enough protein to satisfy these needs. Veterinarian Ernie Ward recommends 28-32% to protein on a dry matter basis for healthy older dogs, especially in those cases where weight loss is needed. Other factors to consider are senior dog health problems such as heart and kidney disease. For both conditions, you'll want a low-sodium food. Add supplements. Omega-3 fatty acids probably play an important role in senior diets because they may help combat both osteoarthritis and especially cognitive losses. If you are adding your own to your dog's diet, aim for the amount of EPA and DHA combined to be in the range of 700 to 1,500 mg. There are practical aspects of feeding your dog to consider too. Senior dogs may have dental problems that make chewing difficult or uncomfortable. These dogs should first be treated for whatever problem they have. But if it is impossible or unsuccessful, consider wetting their food or feeding them canned or soft food. Simply feeding a smaller kibble size may help if you are feeding dry food. Senior dogs may be uncomfortable bending down to the food bowl or standing for long periods to eat. Try serving their meals on a raised platform or encourage them to eat lying down. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share our video.